No issues just follow the instructions works great. I experienced a tank crash after a gravel vac and a filter change. My fish were hurting. And Seachum stability was slow acting. The live nitrifying bacteria in Microbacter 7 immediately had my fish swimming around their aquarium again while simultaneously breeding the bioculture in my filter that I had lost after changing my filter floss note to myself never change both. Filter flosses at the same time. Change one and leave the other for 6 weeks before changing the second one. If you only have a small filter and it only contains one filter floss and it's time for a change. For example, you believe your activated carbon is no longer activated anymore. Replace the floss with a new one and leave the old floss in the back of your filter for 6 weeks following. Don't take out until your new floss has established bioculture. This will help you not experience the crash that I experienced and safeguard your fish during a filter change up. This bottle of magic bacteria did pretty much exactly as advertised. I'm a new saltwater reefer struggling to maintain good ammonia and nitrite in the early stages of my tank. I thought I followed all the steps and had my system seeded before adding fish, but I guess I must have been overfeeding because my ammonia kept spiking and my nitrate stayed consistently high, even with twice a week 30% water changes. The other day I got fed up with the by the book method and decided to purchase this after reading some good reviews and internet advice. And honestly after doing a 30% water change and dosing 5 milliliters of the stuff, one day later and my ammonia is back down to zero, as well as nitrites. This result made me very happy lol I don't know how sustainable of a solution this is but I will continue with the recommended daily dosage for the next week or two and hopefully that is enough to seed my aquarium with enough bacteria for my current bioload.